Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix water stains on a ceiling without painting. Unless you're planning on painting the whole ceiling, you absolutely never want to paint over a water stain or it ends up looking like this stain that you see here. Unless you know the original paint color for that ceiling, it's really hard to find a matching paint color. So you end up having a slightly darker or slightly whiter or slightly bluer color just highlighting where that water stain was. And generally you can still see the outline of the water stain too. So instead I'm gonna show you how you can almost always completely get rid of a water stain, which is a simple mix of bleach and water. For this DIY, you're gonna need just simple household bleach from your local grocery store and a clean, empty water bottle that can spray a fine mist. I ended up using about one third bleach to two thirds water. I think you can go as high as about half bleach, half water with that mixture. Just make sure that when you are ready to spray that you have the setting on the spray bottle set to the mist setting on the sprayer. That mist setting will let you put an even light layer of the bleach and water mixture just on the spots where you want it. Um, also make sure that you're always rinsing the bleach off your hands as soon as possible or wearing gloves for this project. So here is a water stain that is in my house right now. I had an HVAC guy do some work in my attic recently. He made a mistake and I got water spots on two ceilings in my house. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is actually the smallest spot, but it is the darkest. It has the darkest ring around it. So for this one, I went with um, right away layering on lots of light layers of that spray. And I used a paper towel to sort of dab the extra water off. Um, I wanted that bleach to soak in, but I didn't want tons of bleach just dripping. But again, be very careful. I was just dabbing here. I wasn't rubbing or um, doing anything that would ruin the finish on the paint or rub it off. If you have a popcorn ceiling, you absolutely do not want to rub or even dab that ceiling. It's pretty easy to scrape that popcorn finish off. So just spray onto the popcorn finish in your case and leave it as it is. Walk away and let it dry on its own. Also, make sure that you are protecting your floor and any of your furniture around the room with a plastic drop cloth. You don't want anything in your room to be bleached when you're trying to fix this problem. So all of the work that you see happening on this spot happened in about four minutes. So I have zoomed in a bit with the camera, but again, this is all happening in just four minutes. That spot goes almost completely away. So after the four minutes, I do walk away. I let it dry so I can see what's left after all of the moisture is out of the paint. And I had a very faint ring left after that. So I, I gave it a second coat of the bleach water solution and it's completely gone now. So it worked perfectly, but you can see just in four minutes how quickly that bleach spot is going away. Now I do want to say that if you have a ceiling that is painted in a color other than white, even if it's yellow, this is probably not going to be the best solution for you because that bleach will lighten the paint. So only use this option when you are working with a white ceiling. Otherwise, you are going to end up having to probably paint the whole ceiling. I don't know of anything else that can get rid of a water spot without altering the color of the paint. And another little bit of bad news, if someone or if you have already painted over a water spot, this bleach fix will not work to get rid, rid of the water stain on your ceiling. Once you have sealed that water stain with paint, the bleach can't penetrate through that paint and it won't fix the problem. So I'm sorry. You are going to have to paint that ceiling in that case, but once you paint it, you will be happy and it will completely go away. So here's a quick close-up look at um, that water stain after four minutes of spraying bleach on it. So this is the point where I left the stain and moved on to the next room. And here's a quick reminder of what it looked like before I did it. And here's a look at the water stains in the other room. So there is a lot more going on in this room. They're not quite as dark. Maybe that one on the right, upper right is kind of dark there. But um, for this room, since there's so much going on, I didn't even dab any of these. So the dabbing part was just something I was doing in the other room. It's not necessary. For this room, I just sprayed on, um, let it sit there for a few minutes, sprayed the other areas, 
and just kind of kept an eye on it and waited to see if if it was getting soaked in and evaporating. I would go back and spray a spot just to make sure I was getting a good coverage. Again, I did all of this in probably three or four minutes in this room, moving the ladder around and getting a good spot for different spot, um, areas that needed to be treated. Also, make sure you're always wiping. So this is close to a wall in this room. Make sure you're always wiping that bleach off the wall or you will have lightened paint in those areas. If you have a wall that is not white, make sure you're always wiping that bleach away with a clean wet rag. I sped the work I'm doing up in this room by about three times so you can see the progress happen faster. Uh, it's not necessary for me to do this one real time since I explained most of it in the last room but I wanted you to see how quickly this starts to happen again. It is pretty quick. I did layer this on a few times. I let it dry overnight, and then I came in the next morning and just sprayed the spots that still had any visible signs of water stains left behind. Luckily, again in this room, everything went away. Um, I think one spot needed three treatments, but everything went away with just the bleach and water solution. So now I can have a nice, beautiful looking ceiling that I don't have to touch again until I decide to paint it one day. Another quick tip, um, this bleach solution in this room, especially since there were so many water stains, it does make qu quite a strong smell. So no one was in this room for about 24 hours. We let it air out completely. I would definitely not want to sit in this room. So just think about that before you do your treatment, what time of day you're going to be able to do it who's gonna be in and out of the room when you're doing it and try to work around that. So a big area like this, that room smelled like a swimming pool um, for a day at least. So just think about that and when you're planning how you're gonna fix your room. And here's that ceiling the next day looking great again. So that's it for how to fix water stains on your ceiling. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks guys for checking this out and good luck fixing your water stains.